Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm Dee Graywall, Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel. And this is going to be the weekly general read for all signs, earth, air, water, and fire for the week of 818 to 824. Um, just to let you know, I have gone ahead and pre-shuffled the cards, also meditated. Um, and, you know, I'm doing this to save some time with the videos, guys. Um, it just takes a lot of time when I'm shuffling in between the videos. Um, so it just works out better this way. So I hope you don't mind on that. Um, so I hope you're all doing well and you had a blessed and beautiful week. The rest is there has been some really intense energy and we did have that full moon this week as well as some other interesting alignments and aspects with the planets. So, um, you know, I have noticed that there's a lot of emotions bubbling up to the surface, a lot of things with communication. Uh, Mercury is now out of shadow and direct, as you know, um, but you know, so that should bring some things into balance with communication. But definitely, I feel like we're in this place of on the brink of something, some kind of breakthrough. Okay. And all everything that's happened up to this point has kind of been pushing us to that point. Um, so it's interesting. This reading again is extremely powerful. I've been no noticing how strong the messages are within the readings at this time. So I always like to start with a moon card because the moon is about um, illumination, okay? It's about our feelings, our emotions, our fears. And um, this card has been coming up quite often. Uh, balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is full moon in Pisces. So again, I'm feeling like the emotions are still quite strong right now. And these emotions that are coming up to the surface at the moment are really coming up to be released, okay? It's that energy that you've been storing within yourself that is coming up to the surface. It's bub bubbling up to the surface. The emotions are coming up to the surface so that you can release them and move forward on your path without holding on to this heavy burden of emotion, right? Um, but you're being asked to balance your energy, okay? balance spirituality and practicality and um you know i feel like we've been trying to fine tune that we've been trying to navigate our way through and again you're being guided to go with the flow versus you know resisting okay change is upon us and it is absolutely necessary um and i feel like it's that it's that grand awakening. There's the feeling of, um, you know, like a butterfly that's, uh, you know, you have the caterpillar that has that metamorphosis and it goes through that change and that transformation and it blooms into this, you know, beautiful butterfly. I feel like just like that, we're going through that, that change, okay? And we're going through that change to lead us to that, that something beautiful. But, it's, it's really not about what's coming ahead. And it's about this journey that you're on now. It's about being present in the now and also, you know, finding that balance and enjoying where you're at on this path. As difficult as it may seem, can you come into a place in your life where you can appreciate the obstacle and challenges, uh, you know, and appreciate the good and the not so good and realize in actuality it's not that it's not good it's that certain things happen in our life and sometimes it might feel okay and sometimes it might not but why doesn't it feel okay what emotions and feelings are you holding on to make to make you view that experience as actually being negative you know um everything happens in our highest good sometimes we make poor choices and ultimately the result of those choices bring us brings us to um, a life experience, okay? But we're not always smart in our choices, you know? And, and, and life was never meant to be perfect. Um, but we do have the opportunity and we always have the choice to make things, to make the most out of things, okay? And um, to see things from a spiritual understanding and a spiritual perspective. Now, 
are we human beings yes and sometimes you're gonna see things from from uh, a different but you're gonna see things from your your humanly experience in you in your life over here versus the spiritual and that's okay too sometimes that happens but can you bring yourself back can you question yourself and bring yourself into alignment with the truth of who you are and where you're at on your journey and on, on your path that's the importance and I think that that um, again so that's where we're going with balanced spirituality and practicality okay you're learning how to do that uh, um, and and be okay with it. Be okay where you're at on your journey and on your path right now. All right. So with that being said, I am going to move ahead into the reading and the and the cards that I've pulled here. Um, real quick, you can find me on Facebook at D Graywell Psychic Medium and Angelic Channel, as well as on Instagram at the Angels of Alchemy. And you can visit my website at healingwithheaven.com. That's about to know about my personal reads. Um, any information you need to know, it's on my website, as well as everything's in the description box below. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much. I really love and appreciate each and every one of you. And um, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy. And if you resonate, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Those of you who are already subscribed to my channel, can I ask you to please give me a thumbs up on the videos? Um, I see there's a lot of people you know, subscribing, uh, but you, you're forgetting to give me that thumbs up. So give me that thumbs up, okay? Um, moving on. So again, I've gone into the aspects of balancing spirituality and practicality. What I am feeling from this week, um, the emotions are running high. Some of you, it's like, don't give up hope right now. Um, you're on the brink of something, but there's almost a feeling of wanting to give up a little bit, okay? Um, and you're being guided to stand strong, to stand strong and use your spiritual um, knowledge, your understanding, the tools that you've picked up along the way to help you through this week. Some of this week feels heavy and almost it feels challenging. But what I am going to tell you, there's also something big unfolding this week, starting from the feeling of today. Okay, so trust, believe and have faith. Hope is on the horizon to have hope. Don't lose your faith. Don't look to give up right now. Everything's unfolding. There's some kind of light that's coming in on a situation that you're feeling heavy from this week, okay? The universe is here to bring you hope. So I do get the sense and feeling your guides and angels are supporting you with something this week. And there's some light that's going to be shed on something here. Whatever is unfolding for you, whether it be in love and romance, whether it be in your career, whether it be in your home environment, if you've been going through a struggle, what area of whatever area of life it is for you, okay, there's hope on the horizon. Something's about to um, reveal itself to you, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. You have, so you have 17, and today's the 17th, interestingly enough. Um, I do feel that there's something unfolding over this weekend, okay? And you're starting to have a realization about yourself as well and the part that you've played in the grand scheme of things and in the wholeness and the big picture so um you have the seven plus one that's eight okay so again we have the the infinity we have eight it's about abundance success prosperity and things of that nature you also have here and luck okay good fortune and luck um you also have here spiritual strength so if you're feeling like you want to give up you need to call on your whatever it is that you believe in spiritually okay to call on that to find strength from your spirituality right you're balancing spirituality and practicality okay um i feel like go to source go within detach this is where you're going to find your strength. Spirit is supporting you. They're lifting you up. There's healing occurring here. Look how, look how much green is on this card. There's heart healing. Go within to find your support. You also have the nine. This is about completing 
a cycle from the nine you go to the ten which is bringing that really it's breaking down to a one right so that's new beginnings this is also about your purpose your purpose is connected to um you, what your spiritual path is right okay purpose lies there so you're finding the strength from your spiritual path they're the ones that are lifting you up and helping you forward. Don't give up, see, because celebration is on the horizon for you. There's some kind of, you're about to reap the rewards of all the hard work and effort you've been putting in. And sometimes, right before you're, um, right before you're ready to receive uh, or something big is about to unfold and happen, and happen, you will sometimes feel you're most challenged. So don't give up because celebration is on the horizon for you. You're about to celebrate all the hard work and effort that you've been putting towards your path, okay? Your journey, your purpose. Something's unfolding here. You're about to receive some kind of news, I feel like. Um, it's almost like light's about to be shed on, on things that have been unfolding for you, any questions that you have, I feel like here it is, it's coming, okay? So don't give up hope right now. And here it is, underneath hope, you can't make this up. Look at this. Look at all the light that's coming in here. Okay, miracle. There's a blessing that's coming in right now. And this is why I say, this is about you trusting and believing that everything's unfolding as it needs to. But there's a miracle unfolding. And this is about your connection and your, how strong is your faith. It's when we're strong in faith, when we trust, believe, and we can let go and surrender. This is when miracles occur. It's how you perceive things as well. So they're saying to you, there's hope on the horizon. There's a miracle unfolding right now. Don't lose hope. Have faith. There's blessings coming your way. Know that your path has led you to this very moment. Give your all to source. Surrender to the divine. You then have creation. Here it is. This is God, the creator, the universe, goddess, okay, that is supporting you. Um, this miracle is, it's taken a while to unfold, I feel like, this blessing that you've been waiting on, but it's supported by your creator. This vision that you've had is manifesting, all right? And it's coming from source. And I feel like this week, not only finding your support from, from meditating, going within, this is about you going out in nature, grounding your energy, allowing the power of creation to feed your soul, to ignite your soul, okay? Um, you're finding your strength out there. So I do feel like you guys need to kind of detach, connect in nature, because I feel that this is where you're going to find your strength. This is where source is feeding your soul. So um, go out and connect in nature. There's beautiful things that are unfolding. It's like, don't allow the dark to come in. Don't, you know, have hope is on the horizon. You need to trust. I also get the sense and feeling when you look at creation, it's that feminine energy. It's bringing into balance that feminine side. All right. Um, so this is a beautiful message here. You're creating this foundation for yourself. And there's a miracle, a beautiful blessing that's coming from Lord God, creator, the universe. Just trust. And this has been bittersweet. This path has been bittersweet. It's been emotional. It's been challenging. But the rewards are beyond your imagination. It's like what you even expected to unfold for you or how you even imagined it doesn't even come close to what is truly unfolding. Um, your vision, uh, yes, you've been a part of this, but what, how you've imagined it is going to exceed your expectations. 
all right this celebration this rejoice it's been bittersweet it's been tough okay but here it is and it's led you to this path of enlightenment you now now are in this place of you understand things differently you've gone through this major change and transformation you've gone through this rebirth because it was bringing you to a place of enlightenment it was bringing you to honor your authentic truth your divinity seeing that you're the vibration of love okay so this celebration is about enlightenment it's about understanding who you truly are you you know you now understand why things have unfolded the way that they have you've gone through this healing you're seeing things very differently so let's go ahead and i'm going to show you um your tarot cards let me lay them out so highlighting hope a miracle you have the wheel of fortune this is about your destiny something is about to come full circle now in your favor i feel like and this has been a part of your destiny okay karma's been at play here but there's you know i have hope on the horizon that what you've been working towards the wheel of fortune is about to move things in your favor and everything that's happened up to this point has been about the your path your destiny and where you're meant to be and the universe has been guiding you forward to that place so you need to trust that it's unfolding exactly as it needs to and i have to tell you you guys have major arcana cards here you have one two three four major arcana cards so here you have temperance over spiritual strength creation you have temperance so you have a lot of cards about balancing all right things are coming into balance and harmony what was previously not balanced is being brought into harmony and balance okay um and this is coming from you balancing spirituality and practicality this is coming from source this is coming from meditation this is coming from grounding your energy going out connecting in nature this is where your balance and your harmony and this is this isn't just about um whatever your path your destiny has been it's about it's been about balancing okay bringing you back to yourself So things are about to move forward uh, very differently now. You're not the person you were when you started this year. A lot of things have changed. I know for me, I'm not even the person, I'm definitely not the person that I was five years ago, six, ten years ago. Um, and every year I'm changing and transforming. And that's what's happening here. And ultimately, you're coming into a place of balance. You're coming into a place where all the pieces of the puzzles are, is starting to come together. And this is what's been creating your solid foundation. You've been going through this rebirth. And then you have here the emperor. Here you are. Everything that you've been working towards. This is you. You're coming out as the emperor. Successful. You know everything that you've been working towards you're now in this place of accomplishment right um now for some of you i did feel like there's somebody who has this emperor energy that there's some kind of opportunity that's coming in for you um for some of you this is going to be about your work and career okay and, and things coming into balance whatever this emperor is this is bringing hope so, so for some of you, this is about receiving an offer from somebody who's quite successful. Um, so again, it could be around the career. And for others of you, I feel that this is a balance and harmony within meeting somebody new. For those of you who are seeking partners, there's something along the lines of that. But more so, I'm really feeling this is you sitting successfully, you know, with your achievements. And, you know, you have this star energy. The universe is supporting you. This is an entrepreneur. 
you know, here you are, successful, universe supporting you, this hope on the horizon. And there's some kind of blessing unfolding that is bringing great success and rewards to you. Because here you have a new beginning. I needed to clarify with two cards and I got the star and the ace of pentacles. This is about your um, abundance, your success. There's a new beginning on the horizon. So I do feel for a lot of you, it's about your work and your career, all the hard work that you've been putting in towards what it is you've been wanting to create that brings you stability and brings you a solid foundation um, along the lines of work and even partnerships and relationships. The universe is about to bring it to you. You're going to sit here successful with abundant success and prosperity on the horizon here for you. So, because everything's coming into balance. This was about divine time. This was about everything aligning for you at the perfect time, the way it needed to. So I went ahead and did some messages of guidance here. So highlighting hope, miracle, and the wheel of fortune, you have new life. You've had this rebirth, this beautiful new life is on the horizon here. So there's something really going to, I get the sense and feeling that something big is unfolding this week that's really going to put you on your path. Um, like I said, this has about, been about a, re, a rebirth, right? Some major transformation occurring that is putting you onto this next chapter. We've co kind of completed a cycle here and a new is coming in. Again, you know, when we look at that number um, seven and eight, you know, it's about abundance, success and prosperity, This is your destiny. So then we have spiritual strength, creation, temperance, and yang energy. So you have both energies here. You have creation, which is um, the feminine aspect. And then you have the masculine aspect, yang. So this is bringing both aspects into divine balance. This is also about divine union. This is about the masculine and the feminine coming into union so you're coming into union with yourself but they're also i get the sense and feeling for those of you that have been seeking this is about the, your union with spirit your soul the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself but this is also um a divine union coming into balance the yin and the yang um you know i'm not I do speak about twin souls on here, but I have to be honest with you, you know, and I know a lot of people talk about it. I don't know how I really feel about twin souls because it's almost like it makes you feel like um, there's a part of me that's incomplete unless I meet my twin flame and you're never incomplete. And I think you're bringing into balance. This is about your soul coming into balance and bringing those, the masculine and the feminine counterparts into balance. Divine union with self all right, but there is a divine union. Everybody um, has somebody that they're meant to be with. Some of you by choice may choose not to be in with anybody. And so then this is about just you coming into divine union with yourself. But I do feel like for those of you who have been um, kind of waiting for a new chapter to begin, there is, there is this relationship um, that's on the horizon the masculine and the feminine coming together here with a new beginning you're at the one and to highlight rejoice and celebration bittersweet enlightenment the emperor the star and the ace of coins you have blessed there's a gift coming in from the universe that's bringing great blessings and joy something that you've been waiting for almost okay this you break down the 22 and 22 in numerology is a master number it's a very spiritual number okay but if you break that down and usually we don't break down the the, the 22 or the 11 but if you were it 
you look at four, it's the number of stability, it's foundation. This is your stability and foundation, okay? Um, your dreams coming into alignment, great blessings coming from God, the creator, the universe, goddess, whatever it is that you believe in. What a beautiful reading. And then you have highlighting new life, okay? Spiritual quest. It's like you've gone through this spiritual journey that has brought you to this new life, this new path of yours. And I feel like you're on this next kind of chapter of your spiritual journey that is bringing you great joy and fulfillment. This is Ganesh removing obstacles from your path. Number 40 is a very spiritual number. Again, that you know, we're looking at this, and if I want to take this zero off and make it a four, again, it's about your stability, your foundation. You've been looking for your path, kind of. You've been in this place of searching, soul searching, but you're coming into who you are, and it's bringing you great power and strength and bringing that stability. As you come into balance, and again, you have another nine, okay? This is life purpose. You need to focus your energy and tension. Um, I feel this is really about focusing on source, focusing on that divine connection within, because this is where clarity comes in. And again, this is about ending a cycle, completing as you're moving towards. You're getting that from connecting to source, but you need to put your focus and concentration into your path. Dedicate yourself to your path. You're being guided to have a positive outlook. See things from a spiritual perspective. Rise above the obstacles and challenges right now. Because there's great blessings occurring in your life. But it's how you see things. Do you hold on to these negative thought systems and belief systems? You know, that aren't even true. You're going through this personal transformation, okay? Again, a card of rebirth. But this personal transformation was bringing you to wholeness. Making you realize... You're whole and complete. Again, it's about divine union with yourself, your soul, your spirit. Understanding your divinity. All right, this personal transformation was bringing you back to love. Somewhere along the line, there's a lot of you out there who don't feel loved, who feel incomplete, who don't feel whole. You're searching for it outside of yourself. You're searching for it within partnerships and relationships. And they say, no, you are whole and complete. Your wholeness comes from you, from your divinity. Your wholeness comes from the love within you. It comes from your connection to source. So everything that you've gone through up to this point, this personal transformation was bringing you to wholeness. And this is where the celebration is coming. You've come into your power. You've come into your authentic truth of who you are and why you've come. Beautiful reading, guys. So this week, there's again this feeling on, on the, uh, you're on this precipice of this big change, you know, that's occurring. There's this wholeness and completion and, you know, joy um, that's, that's really coming. Don't give up hope. Have faith. There's a miracle and a blessing that's unfolding for you. All right, that's truly, truly beautiful and you just need to trust in that. I thank you so much. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead. I hope you enjoyed this reading and if it resonated for you, please give me a thumbs up on my video. Thank you so, so much for your love and support. Um, subscribe to the channel if it, if it resonates for you and, um, you know, just this week, Hold on to your faith, hold on real strong, okay? And allow yourself to just go within and connect to whatever it is that you believe in that gives you that power and support. So God bless and namaste.